In this video, we're going to take a look at the notation that we can use to graph inequalities and represent graphs in interval notation. When we graph inequalities, such as x is less than 2, we put them on a number line to represent all the possible values that are truly less than 2. Let's put an abbreviated number line that just goes up to 2. When we see the gra the x is strictly less than, we're going to use an open circle on the number line to represent that the graph can get infinitely close to that value of 2, but it's never going to actually reach 2. From there, we notice that the x is less than. And it's very important we don't think about this symbol as an arrow, because if the x is on the other side, it gets you in trouble. If we think about the x is less than, smaller numbers on a number line occur to the right. So we're going to shade off to the right here from the 2, representing the smaller numbers. This then becomes the graph of the inequality. Anywhere that's on the graph, such as 1, would be less than 2. Another way we can represent the graph is an interval notation. Interval notation is a way to represent the graph using numbers rather than drawing the entire graph. It's a little more compact and easier to work with. Interval notation is a list of two numbers separated by a comma. The first number represents the left side of the graph, or the smallest possible value. In this case, we see the graph going off towards negative infinity to the left, comma, and stopping up here at 2 on the right. Because there's an open circle and we're not actually equal to 2, we will use a curved bracket to close the 2. On infinity, we will always use a curved bracket because you can never actually be equal to infinity. Below, we have a second example where y is greater than or equal to negative 1. Now we're starting at negative 1, but you notice that at this time we can be or equal to, and to show that we can actually hit the negative 1, we're going to use a closed circle at negative 1. Because it opens to the y, the y is greater than negative 1, meaning we want greater values off to the right on our number line. This becomes the graph of our solution, which we can also represent in interval notation, starting at negative 1 on the left and going off towards the right at positive infinity. Because we're actually equal to the negative 1, we'll use a square bracket to show we hit that value. Infinity, however, always gets a curved bracket because we can never actually hit infinity. Let's try this process in a slightly backwards way where I give us where we start with the graph and we need to come up with the inequality. This inequality starts at 3 and goes bigger to greater values. This means we want the x to be greater than that number 3. Because it's an open circle, we don't need it anything else but just greater than 3. This is the inequality represented by the graph. The graph below it goes off to the left to smaller, lesser values. When we go off to the left to smaller, lesser values, we want our variable x to be less than our number, negative 4. Notice this graph has a closed dot. Because it's a closed dot, it means we can actually hit the negative 4. We want to show this with an or equals 2 line underneath the inequality. This graph is representing x is less than or equal to negative 4.